camino largo, paso corto, you know, means that every little step is important in your journey. Back then, there was an agreement between the U.S. Mexican government to let Mexican workers come to U.S. soil to work temporarily. It was called the Braceros Act. In 1964, that act ended. My grandpa was kind of hiding from the immigration. I remember he was telling me that he would sleep in the strawberry fields. He dug a hole underneath, and that's where they would sleep. That's where they would eat. I know he had a dream. He had a vision. He had a goal for the family. For the reason of coming here, looking for life, because here, where we are, we are very poor. We have been in the state of Oaxaca, and we had a lot of children. I have many children to give them to eat. We have to work hard. A lot of families come to the United States, their first job is the strawberry fields, and that's where their dream ends. But when my grandpa came to the United States and he started working in the fields, that's where the American dream started for us. Growing up, my dad was incarcerated, so I wasn't able to see my dad until like I was eight years old. Me and my brother were getting in trouble a lot in school. We were getting suspended a lot for fighting because of frustration or not having my parents, or I don't know what it was, but I just always had like some type of chip on my shoulder, I felt. Yeah, big brother's supposed to you know, always watch over his little brother. I felt like if I was letting him down, we weren't gonna get to where we wanted to go. And you know, not having my mother around and not having my father around, I felt like it was up to us like, to make it happen. When Carlos was born, I was 18 years old. And when Jose was born, I was 17 years old. I was very young. I didn't have no experience at all. It took me like four or five years to understand that I was a father. That's when I told myself, you need to change. You need to help these kids. They're your sons. And they only have you. When you come from hunger, when you come from need, when you come from poverty, you have like a fire inside of you that is really hard to die out. It's crazy because at the age of like eight or nine, I already knew what I wanted to be. Like I still remember being in elementary, putting in the back of my paper that I would be an Olympian. Like, and it's exactly what I did. I was representing the poverty and all the hunger and all the poor families that come from nothing. And in a way, I'm somewhat of a hope because a lot of these kids come from pretty much the same background as mine. So I would like to show these kids that it is possible, you know, and I'm living proof of that. Yo, este, y ahorita estoy muy orgulloso, muy a gusto, muy alegre con mis nietos que llegaron hasta en este punto sin pensar. Nunca pensábamos que iban a llegar en este punto. Yo estoy esperando este, que lleguen a ser campeones del mundo para que puedan ayudar a sus familias. My name is Carlos Valderas. I'm 22 years old and I'm going to be a world champion. <laughs>